Hello and welcome to the Desert Stories. I'm Rafa Riyaz Akhtar and let's have a look on today's headlines. His Majesty Sultan Haitham bin Tariq Al Said and His Highness Sheikh Tamim bin Hamad Al Thani, Emir of Qatar, on Monday witnessed the signing of six cooperation agreements covering military fields, avoidance of double taxation and prevention of tax evasion, labor, investment, tourism and transport. The military cooperation agreement was signed by His Highness Sayyid Shihab bin Tariq Al Said, Deputy Prime Minister for Defense Affairs and Dr. Khalid Muhammad Al Atiya, Qatari Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of State for Defense Affairs. Over 44,000 residents in Dubai have received a golden visa since the launch of long-term residency scheme. The Golden Visa Scheme was launched in 2019 to attract and retain talents from all over the world and establish the UAE as an ideal destination to live and work in. These visas are issued 5 or 10 years and renewed automatically. The positions of Greece and Bahrain converge on a number of key areas, especially in terms of its approach to international law and international law of the sea. Foreign Minister Nikos Dandia said on the last day of a three-day visit to Manama, Bahrain's capital. The National Cybersecurity Authority of Riyadh will organize the Women in Cybersecurity Forum in Riyadh on March 1st and 2nd, 2022, with the objective of empowering women in the field of cybersecurity. Several specialists, academics, and researchers in the field of cybersecurity will attend the event. Lewis Hamilton put in a flawless drive to win Sunday's inaugural Qatar Grand Prix and cut Max Verstappen's championship lead to just 8 points. Verstappen finished almost 30 seconds behind Hamilton in 2nd, but was impressive in clawing his way back from 7th, having been given a grid penalty after qualifying. That's all for today and let's meet tomorrow with new desert stories. Until then, stay tuned, stay safe.